I'm Tanya, and today we're gonna make some cookie shot glasses. As you can see, there's six different types, but there's only recipes for four, so it looks like we're gonna make four. Let's get started. I really hope me slouching doesn't look awkward in this video, because here I'm too tall. But down here, you can see some table. The first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Did it! If you're new to my channel, I like to go out in public, find some cool food things, and try to bake them online. We're gonna need four separate bowls to make gingerbread, chocolate, chocolate chip, and peanut butter. They all basically start out the same, so let's do that. I also can't tell if this gives me tripophobia or if it's the cutest kitchen gadget I've ever seen. Oh, and it matches my KitchenAid. I'm cutting the recipe in half so that I can get more done in one go. So I'm gonna put half a stick of butter into each bowl. Softened butter is the most moistest thing I've ever touched and I hate it. So moist. Now some sugar. Ah yes, I love the dramatic slow pours from such an unnecessarily high angle. I'm not supposed to cream it yet, but honestly, if you've never tried a little flick of softened butter and sugar cream together, oh my gosh. Actually, now that I think about it, that's probably not a normal thing at all and I should stop doing that. Meh, that sounds like a 2018 resolution to me. Oh man, I can't wait to see the comments and find out how many people don't do this. <laughs> man, I really hate splitting recipes and then finding out that I have to split half of an egg yolk. How does one split an egg yolk? All right, let's just give her half. Oh boy, I don't know how to break an egg yolk in half. I'm panicking. All right, I'm resorting to my hand. This is gross. All right, let's just give, oh yes. This is not what I wanted, but um, here we are. Oh man, that one got way more of the egg. We're gonna attempt to do this again. Honestly, I have a feeling this one's gonna be worse than the first one. Oh, I broke the egg yolk. I knew it'd be worse. Oh, this is so much smarter than what I did the first time. This is so gross. Blip that in, oh. I mean, I did way better this time. I'd say that was progress. Two of these need brown sugar now. And I honestly don't know how to convert cups to spoons and my phone's dead. So uh, let's just guess. Does that look like half of a quarter of a cup? All right, let's just say it's two scoops. That's probably a lot. You know what, let's just give it a third. <laughs> All right, brown sugar done. Now we need some vanilla extract. Very loud and aggressive lid, did not need you to do that. Oh man, where did my lid go? Where is she? Oh, I found the chapstick. Oh man, if you get that reference, please send me the rest of the lyrics down below and I will love you forever. A dash of salt. I feel like Gordon Ramsay would be yelling at me right now. Ooh, this one gets cocoa powder, exciting. A quarter cup and teaspoons. The answer is 12 teaspoons. 12 teaspoons, all right, thank you, Siri. That's a lot of teaspoons. Then again, my teaspoons are very large and in charge, like me. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Now it's time to cream again. Whoa, the egg is feisty in this one. I feel like this is a lot of flour. Oh, there's more. Bleep. Does that look like a soft crumbly dough? Yes, is that too dry? It's fine. Chocolate chip time. The recipe calls for chunky peanut butter, but you know what? I'm just not a chunky peanut butter kind of gal. Ooh, all right, now we're ready to put it into the little cup molder. Oh yeah, I love that moistening, greasy sound. Now, I'm just gonna fill in the cup. I'm really worried about this consistency. Also, screw the spoon, I'm over it. This is supposed to create the cookie cup shape. I truly feel like Gordon Ramsay now. Oh, and now I don't. Looks like I'm mashing potatoes. Oh no, this one's a little sticky, isn't she? You know what, let's just try a different one. I'm really good at giving up, you guys. Don't uh, take after me, please. All right, we did one. Ooh, this one worked, exciting. All right, I see you. All right, I'd say that one was a success too. We're doing good, two in a row. I honestly do not have hope in the peanut butter one, so let's see how she does. Why yes, I just did use my rolls to push the cup back into the table. <gasps> this is honestly the best one yet. Look at that hole. Never thought I'd be saying that. 50 years later, we are back and finished. I only made one shortbread one because I honestly didn't have hope in it after I put that first one in. But the chocolate chip ones I'm really stoked about and the peanut butter one actually holds up really well too. So now we're gonna pop that in the fridge for 10 minutes. Oh man, they look so legit now that I've taken them out of the fridge. They're hard, crunchy, and ready to go in the oven. Done. Blah, blah, bake at 350. 
for 45 minutes. Looks like we're gonna be staying up till 4 a.m., boys. 45 minutes is up, let's take it out. Oh, damn. So this is the completed look. I mean, it looked pretty appetizing until you look in. Some of them look pretty gross and moist on the inside. Let's talk about that crusty shortbread one. Mm. Let's flip this bad boy. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. I can already sense it. Oh. All right. <laughs> can you tell my energy level has just drained from the beginning of this video? It's now 3.30 a.m. and I'm ready for bed. Honestly, this is quite the success. Oh, heck yeah. One more, come on, bud. Oh yeah. All right, not bad for a box kit, am I right? Ooh, except for this crusty fella. Hello. Oh my gosh, the chocolate chip ones look so good. All right, now I've got these cute little sprinkles and chocolate chips that I picked out, as well as some whipped cream and milk. Oh yeah, boys, let's get it in. Cheers, let's give this a taste. Mm, mm -hmm. I might have looked super surprised when I first took the bite, and that's because I thought it was gonna be super soft, but it's not. I mean, which makes sense as a shot glass, and it should be holding milk and stuff, but man, I mean, like, why not, you know? Wow, my hand was shaking. Oh, so cute. Not gonna lie, I don't have high hopes about the milk not spilling right through, but let's give it a try. Oh no, I am so nervous. <gasps> Oh my God, it's holding. Oh, no, it's not. It's going through, it's going through, but like, oh, look at the little milk inside. This is revolutionary. All right, let's just drink it. Oh yes. All right, you guys, so that is all for today's video. Be sure you give it a giant thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below and tell me what you would put inside of your shot glass. So until the next video, I'm Tanya, and these are cookie shots. Bye.